Guys, what an awesome event the Barry Game Exchange was. I just want to say thank you again to everybody. Kevin from Barry on, Buried on Mars and Sarah's wife. I want to thank J Rock. I got to finally meet you and hang out for a bit. Uh, I got to record my Keep on Rocking Them game, so it's awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, we had the Retro Lectors there, Retro Pixel. Uh, we had Longshot was there, Creepleet was there, Party Play Gaming, Fraser and Ashley. We had Miles and Catherine from Flock of Nerds. We had CJR, we had Erica Zabado, we had Pam from Cannot Be Tamed and Will. If I'm forgetting somebody, I apologize because there's just so many people's names to mention. Very happy that you were all able to attend and very happy for your support for your videos you made pre-event and post-event. Without you guys, without everybody attending, events like these would not happen. Without the vendors, events like these would not happen. So thank you very much to everybody there. Another super special shout out to my co-organizer Darby and his wife, as well definitely to my wife. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do these events, especially our wives, Adarb. they got to support us. I mean, they're awesome to let us do this crazy stuff and have these collections and, and want to put events on like this. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do it. And another shout out to Wilson. Without him, we wouldn't have had the help in the morning there to put up the tables and get everything ready for when everybody showed up. So I, I know I've said it a million times and I'm gonna say it a million more times. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now on to the pickups that I got at the Berry Game Exchange. I actually had some time to go around and meet some vendors and find some uh, games to purchase. Made a few deals before the event that I completed at the event as well. So I'm gonna go through what I got here. Some of you may have seen it on my Instagram account, but we'll go through it and I'll kind of give you the background of everything that I got here. First, I'll, uh, this one actually wasn't at the Berry Game Exchange. This is uh, Tactics Over Ogre, the Knights of the Lo Lodi, Lotus, Lodi. Uh, it's an Atlas game. I actually bought this on eBay. I don't normally go to eBay for things, but this was a, a deal I couldn't pass up. So I picked that one up off eBay. This next one here is Disgaea Hours of Darkness. Uh, I just want to thank Erica Zabado for bringing this for me. I purchased this from ANC Games on eBay, and I know she works there, and I got in touch with her through um, Will and Pam, and I want to say thank you again to Will and Pam as well. I didn't thank you yet, but uh, she brought this for me. I bought it online, and, and rather than having it shipped, she dropped it off for me. I have yet to play one of these games, but I know they are the strategy RPGs, and that's my t cup of tea lately, so I'm really looking forward to playing this, so thank you very much for bringing that for me. And then another pre-arranged deal I had here with another vendor. It was uh, JD, and uh, if you didn't see his table, he was over kind of near the middle of the venue where the two locations or the two rooms connected. So I traded him a game and gave him some cash, and I picked up these three games for him. First one is Bob on the Super Nintendo, and that actually came with the poster here, which I didn't know was coming with the poster. I Pretty cool to still see these around so I'll show you that there the Bob poster very cool and it also came with the Bob or the manual for the game too so I saw this one in a in a video another youtubers account who said it was a, a good uh, game to pick up for a reasonable price and as well I got from him is uh, just track and field I want to try to get all the mat event uh, games for the Nintendo and this one I've been looking forever uh, I own the first one, and now I own the second one. It's Prap of the Rapper 2. Here it comes! Extra, extra, we don't know about it. It's the best burgers in town from all around. People from around the world come and get it. The line goes around like a merry-go-round. These games are just so fun. The rhythm type games are hilarious. Like, the first one, I've actually never played the second one, but the first one is so awesome. Hopefully the second one stands up to it, and I've been looking for this one forever. So thank you, JD, for hooking me up with these three games. These next two add to my Turbo Graphics collection. First one here is Bonk's Revenge. I got that from Ryan, Airzonk World Champ. Ryan was a vendor at the event and he runs the 400 Market uh, Video Games 101, so go check him out if you're ever at the 400 Market. Ryan's got lots of great stuff. I bought this off Ryan. And then this one here is Alien Crush. I got this off of Fred. He was one of the sponsors of the event uh, from Vintage Video Games. He's actually been holding this for me for probably about a year or so. He was going to toss it in the mail, and then when he decided to come and be a sponsor and attend our event, he said he'd just hold on to it and give it to me then. So thank you very much, Fred. Two more Turbo Graphics games into my collection. This next one's an RPG for the PS1 that I've been looking for for a while as well. 
and that's Sakodin or Sukodin. I, I pronounce it Sakodin. I have a couple of the Sakodins on the PS2. I now own the first Sakodin. One I would love to get is the second one, but uh, it's way out of my price range right now, so I'm happy to have the first one here. And then the next two are a couple of Nintendo games I picked up. First one my wife grabbed for me as a thank you for running the event and she was just uh, proud of me, a proud event and said we did a good job. So I finally got myself a copy of River City Ransom and thanks to the wife for picking that one up for me. And this one here I got from Hawk Shop. They were in the second room and they had a bunch of great games. And I went over to him and I was just looking through the stuff. It was close to the end of the day. And he gave me Mega Man 6 and I got this for the price tag of $50. So very happy to pay that price for this game. I now only need Mega Man 5, which is the most pricey one, and I have all of them on the Nintendo. We'll see, maybe I'll get lucky and find it one day this summer at a yard sale or something like that. Otherwise, I'll bite the bullet or maybe just trade some stuff for it. So, so happy to add a couple more Nintendo games into my collection. These next two are a couple Sega Genesis games to add to my collection. First one is Sonic 3, yeah, I know. You don't own Sonic 3 yet? No, I've been waiting to try to find it for a reasonable price and it came complete in box. So I got this one, I think I played $20, $25 for that, so very happy. And then the other one was a recommendation on Derby, and that's Kid Chameleon. It's supposed to be a really fun game. It's supposed to be difficult, but fun. So I added that one to my collection. And then these last two were a couple of the spur of the moment uh, purchases. So the first one here is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade Attack. I know nothing about it, but it's a DS game and it's Ninja Turtles that almost looks like a, uh, not a clone, but a similar kind of style to um, Turtles in Time. I don't know why I was drawing a blank there. Uh, but it says on the back, classic turtles, all new adventure. So this will probably be something fun if if I don't enjoy it, which I know I will. My son will love that. He's really into Ninja Turtles. And then this other one here, and apparently Frazier had uh, had this one in his hand to buy for the thirty dollar pickup challenge. And Canadian Retro told him to put it down because his wife was trying to get him to buy it, and he didn't want to waste his money on this. But it's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle Smash Up for the Wii. So I'm assuming this is probably the same copy that Frazier had because I believe he said it was $15. I think the price tag was $15 on it and I got it for $10 from the guy. So Frazier, if you're looking for it, I have it now. And then the last game was a trade at my table that we had uh, Wilson. Wilson was running our table. And it is a copy of Borderlands, Game of the Year edition for the PS3. The guy had a bunch of stuff he was looking to off move or unload i should say and he had a couple things he wanted for me didn't really have much i wanted but i'll take this one i don't own it and um, i was happy to help him get what he was actually interested in at my table so that's it those are my pickups from the event um it was a lot of fun got to meet tons of people again if i didn't mention your name in this video i apologize if i shook your hand and you said hi I'm sure that's good enough, but thank you, thank you very much to everybody that attended, all the YouTube people that I got to meet and hang out with for the day, everybody that bought a table, everybody that attended, everybody that helped out. I just can't say thank you enough. So we we'll look forward to seeing everybody. The next event should be in August. We haven't picked a date yet, but we're definitely shooting for August. Once we have a date, we will let everybody know. And those are my pickups. Thank you very much. And remember, until next time, game on and game often.